is WCIA 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Paul Chikin. And I'm Jessica Coons. It was a tough day for some firefighters in central Illinois as they laid one of their own to rest. Champaign firefighter Dominic Smith and his wife Kimberly were killed in a crash in Iroquois County. This happened over Christmas weekend. Today, friends, family, and firefighters gathered at Cornerstone Church in Woodland to pay their respects. Dominic Smith was also the fire chief in that village. WCI 3's Jared Farmer joins us live in the newsroom. Jared, a lot of people came out today. What did they have to say? Jessica, nearly everyone I talked to says they carried an intense passion both for each other, their family, and in Dominic's case, for his profession. This was Dominic Smith's final shift. He leaves behind a legacy as a firefighter, fire chief, EMT, and loving family man. His wife, Kimberly Smith, joins him in the next life. They met at a dance studio in Arizona, and Smith eventually won his wife over after learning how to become an instructor in dance with her. They married in 1993 and were inseparable. And by the way, when they got married, because Dom didn't have enough money to buy a ring, Dom, because he knew how to make jewelry, he literally fashioned their first wedding rings. One word that anyone who knew the Smiths would use to describe them was dedication. Woodland's assistant fire chief A.J. King Don says firefighting is all about tradition and the dedication Smith brought to the job is a new tradition they plan to carry on. Being chief, you know, wasn't wasn't afraid, you know, to get get, get right in there and, and work, you know, always always willing to, you know, show us a better way to do this or, um, you know, more than happy to take, you know, a, a, a new firefighter under his wing. You know. Firefighters circled around the Smith family as they said their final goodbye. The circle representing firefighters and Smith's never-ending dedication to serving the community. Dominic and Kimberly's children, Joshua Smith and Breanne Clark, say there's beauty in seeing all the lives they've touched coming together. I'm very touched at how many people got to, to them, they're just mom and dad to us. But then to see how far out the other people are just touched, I am so proud. Their son, Joshua Smith, told me last night one of their missions is going to be to keep making their parents proud. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jared Farmer, WCIA 3, your local news leader. And I'm sure they will. All right, Jared, thank you. Now, two teenagers were in the car that hit the Smiths. Police say the driver, 18-year-old Blake Martell, ran a stop sign. 17-year-old Clayton Harper was a passenger. Harper's grandmother says he was out in the snow for hours that night trying to flag someone down for help. When he was finally taken to the hospital, Harper had to have his left leg amputated. His grandmother says their family is keeping everyone involved in their thoughts and prayers our hearts just go out to these people i mean it's it's a bad situation for everyone um clayton is going to have his life totally changed um you know he he feels he feels bad and there was nothing really that he could do Doctors are not yet sure if they need to amputate Harper's right leg as well. For more on his medical care, you can go to WCIA.com.